Oh. Hello. Good night. Good evening. Excuse me. Good night is when um, we going to sleep. Good sleep. night. Yeah, good night is goodbye. Oh, yes. Thank you. You're welcome. I have a friend today. It's very, it's, it's very good. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Do you know who he is? La, no. La Casa de Papel. Yeah, but do you know who he is? Not really. Who is? He's, he's Salvador Dali. He he is Salvador Dali. He was a painter. Okay. He was a crazy painter. He was a crazy person, but he was ex um he was surrealist. I really, really like him. He's very good. Let me see watch. Look. Salvador Dali. Yeah, do you see my screen right now? Uh, yes. Well. yes. Yes. This, this this was him, look. He was he did beautiful paint he did very abstract paintings. Uh -huh. And he was a crazy person. Look. My favorite I like I like one where, where there's a Jesus looking down. Let me see where is it? He, he was an excellent painter. Let me see. Oh, look at this one. This one's beautiful, look. This one's very beautiful, watch. Look, he was crazy. <laughs> So I understand why La Casa de Papel chose his mask because he was, he was very, all of these artists were crazy. Let me see. Mm. Wow. I can't, I can't open it anymore. Oh, great. Now my internet is stuck. Okay, how are you? Fine, thanks. Fine, and you? I'm okay. For a Tuesday, it's okay. It's not bad. How was your Tuesday? Very busy. Oh, yeah? A lot of work? Yes, a lot of work today. I have a question. Tigo in El Salvador is only Tigo for El Salvador or for Latin America? Tigo in El Salvador is just for El Salvador. But okay. We're connected with the other Tigos in, in Latin America. Oh, okay. But but the offices of Tigo are only for El Salvador. Yes, just for El Salvador here. Oh, okay, I see. But we have a, a department, uh, the name is Fair Service Center, who gives service to other countries. But uh, only in, 
booking receipts and something like that, payments and like that. Okay. Okay, so remember yesterday we were doing if clauses, correct? So what if, what if, what if? Do you remember? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yeah, like what would you buy if, imagine you have, what would you get? Oh, here's an interesting question. What would you get if you have one minute, but only one minute in the supermarket? All you can eat, I mean, anything you can get. You know, for one minute, what would you get? Where would you go? What section? Maybe I will take some pampers and some uh, milk for, for my son. <laughs> yeah, because they're expensive. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I think it depends because is is he super selector? I maybe go to drinks. I would uh, alcoholic drink. I would, yeah, I will go to drinks, uh, alcoholic drinks after I sell the drinks. Oh yeah, me too, it's definitely. Expensive. Yes, I would go to the liquor section, no doubt. One minute I would get all the whiskey. Yes, me too. <laughs> Yeah, forty, fifty, one hundred dollar bottles, and I would sell them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would go there, yeah. and I would go to what else? Oh, the gourmet section. <laughs> Only old pan and Buchanan, teacher. <laughs> 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 yeah, I would get all the expensive liquor. Yes. All right. Okay, today we're going to continue with real and unreal clauses using if. So I'm going to play for you a video, okay? So let, okay. Me, let me put the video. Do, 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 do. Tell me if you can see it. Okay, here's the video. Hi, are you ready to describe imaginary situations? You will learn to do so after the audio program on our explanation. Unreal conditional sentences with if clauses. Unreal conditional sentences describe imaginary situations with simple past forms and consequences in the present. What would you do if you found $750,000? If I found $750,000, I would go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I'd go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. If I found $750,000, I might go to the police. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. You're in mute. You're in mute. Thank you. <laughs> hey. um, thank you. I forget. See, I have two mutes. Um, yeah. Okay. So you understand this is an unreal situation, right? Like what we were practicing yesterday, unreal because it's not happening. If I had $750,000, I would donate them to the diputados. <laughs> yeah. Pobrecitos, están mal pagados. Yes. Yeah, poor, poor yes. people. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's continue. Especially the, the, park, the park car. Oh yeah, poor guy. Poor guy. What unreal conditional is hmm. about. Unreal conditional describes imaginary situations. Let's begin with the structure of it. 
An unreal conditional is made out of two clauses, the if clause and the main clause. Let's work first on the if clause. This one is formed with if plus a past simple verb. Let's move on to the main clause. In this part, we may use would, could, or might plus verb in simple present. We want you to pay attention to the following. Clauses may change position. If clause may be first or vice versa, but you need to watch your punctuation. The use of comma is mandatory when the if clause is at the beginning. Read the following example and notice the use of a comma. But when the if clause is at the end of the sentence, we do not use a comma. Finally, we have some examples for you. If she had a lot of money, she could buy a new apartment. They would be happy if they won the lottery. If he were president, he might reduce taxes. Now that you have learned about Unreal Conditional in class, I want you to take turns asking and answering questions. What would you do if you saw a burglar in your home? If you found a diamond ring? If your friend wanted to marry someone you didn't trust? Type your answers as well in a discussion box. Hi, are you ready to describe? Okay, thank you. Did you understand that? Did you understand? Yeah, did you understand the coma part? Yes, teacher. All right, let's practice that real quick. So you tell me one story, okay? Uh, let me see, hold on. Hold on, please. Let me check one thing here. Okay, thank you. So, d did you understand the coma? You, it's very important when you pronounce because you say, yes, teacher. You say, if you start with the if clause, if you start with if, you need to put a coma. If I had a million dollars, comma, I would buy many houses. But if you start with the main clause, no coma. I would buy many houses if I had a million dollars. Okay. 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 Um, give me an example, Foster, with, let me give you the example. If you had one wish, start with, with the, yeah, start with the if clause, please. Okay, um, if I had, um, let me see, if I had uh, $100,000. No, if I had uh, one wish. Ah, uh, if I had one wish, um, I would be, I would be a manager of my own business. Really? That's your wish? Uh, <laughs> I don't <laughs> okay, know. Okay. Okay, no, that's good. My mind now. okay, good. If I had one wish, I would be a manager in my own business. Yes. Okay, good. Now, that's good. I like that. You, you, you started with the if clause, comma, mm -hmm. and main clause. Excuse me. Now, can you please start with the main clause and then finish with the if clause? One sentence. Okay. I will be, I will be a manager of my own business. Business if I, if I, 
Very good. If I had one wish. If I had one wish. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. All right. Um, Luis Mesa. Luis Mesa, yeah. um, are you a religious person? What religion are you? I'm Christian. Okay. Um, no, let's not, let's not change. If you could visit any country. All right, give me one example with an if clause. And the example is, if you could visit any country. Um, what country would you like to do? To no, no give me an to... example. No, give me an example. Ah. If, if I could visit any country. If I could visit any country, um, I would like uh, to visit uh, Greece. 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 Very good. Okay, can you can you repeat that, please? Complete. Um. Um. If I. If I could visit. If I could visit any country, and um, I would like to visit uh, Greece. Very good. Now switch, please. With the main clause and finish with the if clause. So I would visit Greece. I will visit Greece. If if I if I visit any country. If I could visit any country. If I okay. If I could visit any country. Okay. Can you please repeat? Can, can you please repeat, Luis? Whole sentence? Yes. Uh, if... Okay, because the objective here is the comma. Okay. Um, when you start with an if clause, yes, you have a comma. And you finish with the main clause. But when you, when you start with the main clause and you finish with the if clause, it's, it's continuous. So, for example, if I could visit any country, I would visit Greece. Did you hear the comma? Yes. Now listen to this. I would visit Greece if I could visit any country. I could visit uh, Greece if I... Uh... I would visit Greece. I would visit Greece if I if I visit any country. If I could visit. Uh, sorry, if I could okay. visit any country. Exactly. Very good. Yes. So remember, that's the continuous part. Josue Perez. Hi, teacher. Hello. Good evening. What superpower would you like to have if you could have one? I I will fly. I would like to fly. Okay, I would like to fly if if I had powers. If I had a a superpower. A superpower. Very good. Please repeat. I would like to fly if I had a superpower. Very good. Now change it. Now start with the main clause, please. If if I had a superpower, I would like to fly. Good. Good. Listen to this. If I had the power, I would make all the cats disappear. <laughs> Or, them. Yes. 
or I would make all the cats disappear if I no, but I will not kill them. No, because no. Only disappear. <laughs> Only disappear. I you know go to another it's, country. Not... It's equal, teacher. <laughs> yes. <laughs> No, you know, yeah. No, you know what? Let me change. If I had the power, I would make my neighbor disappear. <laughs> Not the cats. It's, it's Why? My, because it's my stupid neighbor. <laughs> she she puts she puts food and water for the cats in the street. Better have you had to make peace with him. No, yeah, I mean, I understand and I respect the, the, you know, I love cats and, you know, good for animals. The problem is that in my block, we only are eight houses, maybe, and we have 22 or 28 cats in the street. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. So that's a problem. And guess where their private bathroom is? Mm. In my garage. So they if, always, always put the <laughs> into your garage. <laughs> always, yes. So if I had the power, I would disappear my neighbor. Not the cat. It's not the cat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Milton, are you there? Yes, I'm here. If you could meet any famous person. Okay. Uh, finish if the I, sentence. I could meet with a famous person. Any famous I, person? Oh, okay, any with a famous person. I would like to meet with uh, Michael Jackson. Okay. If, no. I, if I could meet, uh, what will be the difference? I will meet Michael Jackson if I could meet any famous person. I will meet. I would Michael like to Jackson. meet. I would like to meet Michael Jackson if I have. If I could. If I could. Okay. Okay, class. Um, good, Milton. Please pay attention to the if clause. I think we're having problems with if. So remember, when you say if I, the next verb is in past. If I had the power, if I had the opportunity, if I could meet, if I, if I went to the past, I would like to go to the 1960s. So remember that in the if clause, the verb is always in past. In the main clause, the verb is in simple present. So listen to this. If I had $1 million, that's my if clause, the verb is in past, had. If I had $1 million, I would buy many houses. You see the separation of the two? If I had $1 million, comma, I would buy many houses. Now, let's change. I would buy many houses if I had $1 million. So Milton, if you could meet any famous person, who would you meet? Michael Jackson. Ah, que fácil. Oh, Michael Jackson. Madonna. Elvis. Es fácil decir es no. I want the complete, please. The complete answer. If I could meet, if I could meet, uh, I I don't go to do this. Okay, but Milton, you need you need to understand the question. 
because if yeah. you do not understand the question, you will not say it correctly. So listen, okay? Listen a las palabras claves. Could, meet, okay? So listen, if you could meet a famous person, who would you like to meet? Yeah, yeah, I got it, but I don't know how to. Okay, repeat after me. If I could. If I could. Meet. Uh-huh, meet. Okay, so if I could meet a famous person. Mm -hmm. If I could meet a famous person. I would meet Michael Jackson. I would meet. Okay. Michael Jackson. Okay. Escucho ahí la coma. If I could meet a famous person, yeah. coma, yeah. I would meet Michael Jackson. Now, if you say it the other way, it's complete, continuous. I would meet Michael Jackson if I could meet a famous person. Repeat. I will meet Michael Jackson if I... Good. If I could... Uh, <clears throat> If I go, uh, I don't know. What is the verb? Meet. Ask. No. Yes, it's okay, Milton. No, no problem. No problem. Okay, Oscar. Hi. Hello, Oscar. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. And you? I am, I am, okay, thank you. Oscar, if you could return in time, do you understand my question? Yeah. So if you could return in time, where would you go? Okay, if I could return Oh, oh, let me change. If you could travel in time, where would you go? If I could travel in time, I will go to the 1990s. To the 1990s? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Nice. Why? Good memories? Yeah, I have good memories about these times. Yeah, the 90s were cool. All right, very good. Now switch it, please. Now give me the main clause first and finish with the if clause. Okay, I will go to the 1990s if I could return in time. If I could... Travel. Travel in time. Excellent. Nice. I like it. Very good. All right. Luis Enrique. Hello. How are you, teacher? I'm okay. Thank you. Sir, if you had the money, would you buy Messi? Uh-huh. So, Hello? listen. Listen, yeah, okay, listen to my question. If okay. you had the money, $700 million, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing. If you had the money, would you buy Messi? Yes. If I have the money. I'm sorry, if I have or if I had? If I have okay. the money. To buy Messi? No, if I had the I, money, I would buy, buy Messi. Uh, uh if I had the money, I would buy Messi. Very good. I would buy uh, Twitch. Yeah, if I if, had the money, if, comma, I would buy Messi. I would buy Messi. All right. I would buy Messi if I had the money. Exactly. Excellent. Very good. So those are the two clauses. If I had the money, comma. I would buy Messi. 
and we finish with the main clause. But now if we start with the main clause, no comma, right? Yeah. So I would buy Messi if I had a million dollars. Very good. A million dollars. All right, Flor. And also, and also Neymar too. <laughs> Neymar? Yeah. <laughs> Neymar and Messi. I, I, I would buy Messi for El Aguila of San oh. Miguel if I had the money. Imagine the uh, Messi in the, at Aguila. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine Messi and Aguila? Oh my God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Flor Duran, are you there? Okay, Jasmine, are you there? Brenda, are you there? Okay, yes, no way. Thank you, yes, Brenda. Thank you, Brenda. <laughs> All right, cool. How are you, Brenda? Fine. Brenda, did you fix the issue of of the of the program or the problem? No, teacher. Yeah, today I received I a message. I tried it over and over again and yeah, don't worry. Every everybody had problems. Everybody, I'm sorry about that. Okay, um, Brenda. If you could meet a famous actor, who would you meet? Um, if I could meet a famous actor, I would meet. I would. I would meet. Um, Keanu Reeves. I don't know why I imagine you were going to say Keanu Reeves. <laughs> All right, very good. Now, now switch it, please. I would meet a Keanu Reeves if I can meet any famous actor. Okay, good. I, if I could meet a famous actor, I would meet Jack Nicholson. Why? Ah, oh, man, I love Jack Nick. I, I would kiss his feet. I would say, master, <laughs> master, master. Uh, Jack Nicholson, do you know Jack Nicholson? Yes. I know. Yes. yes. Yeah. Jack Nicholson or Daniel Day-Lewis? Oh, man. I would, I would kiss their feet and say, master, master. <laughs> Josue Perez. Yes, teacher, I'm here. Hello, Josue. If, if you had a political position in El Salvador, what would you like to be? Um. Not the political party, just a political position. Okay, um, I like to be. I would like to be in a minister of the relaciones exteriores of um, international relations. International relations. If 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 I had a political position. Okay, good. Now change it. If I had. If I had a political position. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I would, I would like to be, I'm sorry. I would like to be in the minister. Um, international relations. International relations. If I had a political position. Excellent. If I had a political position, I would like to be vice president. They never do anything. <laughs> Look, imagine the vice president today, the one before and the one before that, they never, where are they? They, they, they usually do nothing. <laughs> yeah, and they make good money. So um, I would like to be a vice president <laughs> yeah. if I had a, any political. All right, Madeline. Yes, I'm here. How are you, Madeline? Fine, thank you. Okay, um, Madeline, I'm sorry, how old are you? I'm 28 years old. All right, you're 28. 
If you could return in time, how old would you like to be again? Uh, how old? Yes. My age. Another age. Yes, but you're 28. Mm -hmm. You're very young. Yeah. But <laughs> if, no, yeah, you're very young. But if, if you could return in time, what age would you like to be again? If I can return in time, I will like to have um, 25 years old. I would like to be. I would like to be 25 years old. Okay, very good. What is the past of can, Madeline? Can, cool. Could, so then the, qu the correct way would be if I could return in time. If I could return in time, yes. Okay. Yeah, okay, I okay. would like to be 25 years old. Yes. All right, good. If I could return in time, I would like to be 11. I would like to be 11 years old again. Right, teacher. Okay. Ah, I love that age. My first everything. Nah. My first love, my forever and ever love. <laughs> All right. Okay, do you understand? No questions? Um, no, no questions, teacher. Yeah, Victor, do you understand? Yes, I understand, teacher. Thank Victor, you. if you could buy any car, what car would you buy? If I could buy any car, I would buy, I would buy a Lamborghini. You would buy a Lamborghini. All right, cool. Great, the late show. <laughs> <laughs> Only a Lamborghini, right? Okay, nothing. Nothing more. Nothing <laughs> more. <laughs> I was thinking if I could buy any car, I would buy a Corolla or something, but okay, good. <laughs> I, like, I, like your, <laughs> I like your ambition. <laughs> Very good. I said, I'm going to see if I could buy any car, I would buy a Viper or a Maserati. You know? <laughs> Jaime, are you there? Yes. Jaime, if you could buy any house, if you could buy a, a, another house in El Salvador, where would you buy it? If I go, if I could buy any house in El Salvador, I would like about, I would like buy in Cuatepec Lake. Oh, okay, good. Very good. Um, I would like to buy a house in a taco if, if I could. Taco, good, good, uh, good weather. Yeah, and and uh, it's beautiful at that going disappear from yeah. everything. Okay, good. Oh. Yes. All right. Okay. No questions. We understand. So now you 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 know the difference where the gamma is and everything. Correct. Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. All right, okay, now we're going to watch another video. So, um, oh, where's the video, hold on. Um, do you see my screen? Yes. No, yes. Let's check this. Okay. Don't do this because we're having a problem with this right now. Anything you put is wrong. But we can improvise. The verb is have. So if you, what is the past of have? Have. Uh, so if you have three months to travel, where would you go? Correct. If you have three months to travel, where would you go? Oh, that's easy. I would. I would fly to Antarctica. I always, why the hell do you want to go to Antarctica? <laughs> really? In three months only to see ice? <laughs> Bad weather. 
yeah, <laughs> you have problems, my friend. If I had three months to travel, I would like to go to Europe. Backpacking. Yes. My friends tell me that in Europe, you pay one, like in the European Union, I think you pay $15 for one train and you go to Spain, Germany, Port no, Spain, Portugal. Well, you go like to three different countries you can visit with one ticket for them. So I, I would definitely do that. I would not go to Antarctica, crazy people. So this is not working in this moment, so we don't need to do that. Um, look at this video. Antonyms. Do you know what antonyms are? Yes. Yes. You know. yes. What is yes. the antonym of hot? Cold. 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 All right. Cold. Good. Okay, let's let's listen to the video then. To know about antonyms and synonyms help you increase your vocabulary, take a look at the following antonyms and find its opposite. Listen carefully and repeat. Accept. Admit. Agree. Borrow. Deny. Disagree. Dislike. Divorce. Enjoy, find, forget, lend, lose, marry, refuse, remember, save, spend. Now that you have listened to that pronunciation, make a chart on your notebook and complete it. Stay to see what we want you to do next. One thing, do you understand every verb here? Accept, admit, borrow, deny, dislike, divorce, enjoy, find, lend. Do you understand those verbs? Yes. No. Let me see. Lend. All right, good. What is lend? Class? Somebody can help? Huh? Lend. Um, I guess. Um, uh, is when someone uh, give you uh, uh, any stuff that you have to return, you have to return him. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I don't know, prestar en español. We want you to choose four yeah. things of Hold on. Okay. In Spanish is prestar. Yes. Okay, um, I have a question though. Okay. En español, si yo digo, Yo, yo tengo un gran problema que yo siempre ando prestando dinero. What do you understand by that? <laughs> do I give money mm -hmm. or I ask for money? You ask for money. You ask, you ask for, money. for money. Pero también puede ser que yo doy dinero. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You see, that, that's Spanish, right? In English, there's a word for both. Lend is when you give. Mm. Borrow is when you receive. Borrow. Yes, borrow. borrow is when you receive. Oh, okay. For example, you can say you can borrow me. Mm, could you borrow your... Go, could you borrow me? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I, I like where you're going. Could you borrow? Who's going to receive? Me. No, could I, you I. borrow me? No, entonces I. Quería, could I? No. 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 Could you borrow me a ten, one hundred dollar? No, can you because can you lend me? Exactly. Can you lend me? Could you lend me? Ah, could I borrow? Exactly. Listen to this. Very good. Okay. Let's go to Luis Enrique's example. Remember, borrow is who? What person is the borrow? The For person that receives. And lend? 
Who gives? When the kid Who gives? Give so listen to what you said recently, okay? Could you borrow me? Is that correct? No. No. Because I borrow you. No. Because no. analyze, analyze. Who's going to give could and who's you, going to receive? Could you lend me? Exactly. Could you lend me? I when could you, borrow. Mm -hmm. Could I borrow? Oh, okay. Could, you, could I borrow? So there's two ways of asking this. Luis. Okay. Luis, can I borrow $10 from you? Can I borrow $10 from you? Or? Yes, I can borrow you. No, yes, I can lend you. I, yes, I can lend you. Yes. Okay, really? Where do you live? <laughs> Not joking. <laughs> okay, so that's, that's one. <laughs> <laughs> That's one question. Luis, can I borrow $10 from you? Or Luis, can you lend mm. me $10, please? Mm, That's great. So uh, the bank, the bank borrows or lends? Lends. Borrow. Lends. Oh. Yeah, the bank lends. lends us. Band lens. Yeah. yeah. So when you go to the bank and you see that woman, gracias por venir. ¿Qué le puedo ayudar? Yes. Um. Can you lend me five thousand dollars, please? Okay. Do you understand? Yes. 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 All right. Yeah. So um, eh, practiquen eso y eso les puede costar un poco porque Como ya vieron en español, solo hay una forma de decirlo. Ahora okay. voy a volver a mi ejemplo. Y usted dígame cómo lo entienden ustedes en inglés. Aquí va mi ejemplo. Puya, man. Yo la llego porque yo siempre ando prestando dinero. So what do you understand? I borrow or I lend money? Borrow. You lend money. Um, yeah, it's bo different. Both and both yeah. ways, I think. <laughs> It yeah, depends the, 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 the context. Yeah, it, de it depends on the context. If, if I am a very, very rich man, then yeah. yes, uh, my problem is that I always lend money. But yes. if I am a very, very poor man and a drug addict and alcoholic, then my problem is I always borrow money. Yeah. All right. So uh, be mm -hmm. careful with those verbs, okay? Practice them because... Um, because um, people tend to confuse. All right, so what's the antonym? It's the opposite. What is the antonym of the best? The worst. Worst. The worst. The worst. No, the antonym of the best is Real Madrid. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're right. You're right. I don't agree. I disagree. Thank you. I disagree. Thank you. I disagree. The worst is the the one which Bayern Munich give them eight goals. <laughs> hey. Sorry. Even even the best have bad days. You know, you know, you know that's never happened. <laughs> and that will never happen again. It okay. was an awful dream. <laughs> yes. Look at the consequences. Uh, All yeah. the Barcelonistas forget this. Primero de hey. Yes. It never happened. <laughs> no, but but I am happy. I am happy That's... it happened because um, it was ridiculous, and I'm I'm very happy that Bayern won. They deserve to win. Yes. Yeah. All right, Flor Duran, are you there? Yes, teacher, tell me. All right, what is the antonym for hot? Hot. Yes. What is the antonym? The antonym for hot. Um. 
uh, the opposite, the contrary. I don't know why it's called antonym. I mean. Hat. Uh, hat is. Um, is. Um, it's cold. Cold. Hot. Hot. Cold. Yes. Yes. I I pronounce it hot, and you is hot, but be. Uh, because I don't understand what is where what where what is the 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 words I I pronounce it hot and you hot I I pronounce it okay. in correct form. But no problem. So I pronounce hot and you pronounce hot. The important thing is what did you understand? But did you understand that it was hot? Uh, hot is uh, cool. Yes. Cool. Okay, the antonym of hot? Antony. Yes. Is cool. Excellent, exactly, very good. Yes. Okay. All right. Brenda, are you there? Yes, teacher. Brenda, what is the antonym of of ugly? Beautiful. Hi. <laughs> Thank you, Brenda. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, it was an example, or it was me? No, example. It's an example. <laughs> okay. Thank you for your honesty, Brenda. <laughs> okay, very good. So you understand what an antonym is, right? It's the opposite. Yes. Correct? All right, yes. cool. Let's watch another verb with the past modals. Let's watch this lady again. <laughs> Are you ready to give opinions and suggestions about actions in the past? Join us and learn how to do it. Past modals. Use would have or should have plus past participle to give opinions or suggestions about actions in the past. What should I have done? You should have told them about it. You shouldn't have hidden it. What would you have done? I would have called him. I wouldn't have sent him an email. When and how do we use past models? We use past models to give opinions and suggestions about actions that already happened. To give opinions, we use would have plus past participle. And to give suggestions, we use should have plus past participle. But in both cases, our opinion or suggestion is too late. Remember for statements, we must use subject plus would have or should have plus past participle. Okay, this is something very important here. Would have and should have. When do we use would have? For opinion. For opinion in the past, right? And should have? For suggestion. Suggestion. Yes. Okay, let, let's do something, something, um, let's do present in this moment. Um, I would, I would stay home if I were you. ¿Qué dije? Yo permanecería en casa, ¿qué? ¿Sí? If I were you. Si fuera tú. Yes? Ah, oh, ok. If I were. Yes, in if this I case were. we can use were for... for yes, for but right, to. yes, but if you listen right now, I am speaking present, right? So I'm giving you an opinion. I would stay home if I were you. 
Um, mm -hmm. I would buy, if you like pizza, I would buy pizza in Price Mart if I were you. Yes, it's delicious. It's very good, yes. And economic. Yeah, it's just true. It's a big pizza for $10. Big pizza for $10, yes. Yeah, because that, that $5 pizza, I remember. Like, like Supreme of the Pizza Hut. <laughs> yeah, except in Pizza Hut, it's like $17. Yes. Yeah. A lot of money. Yes. Okay, so when we say in the past, we say, I would have, and the verb in past participle. What is the past participle of go? Gone. No, the past participle. Oh, yeah, gone. I'm sorry. Yes, it's gone. gone. What is the past participle of buy? Bought. 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 Yes. bought. I would have bought that house, but I didn't have the money. Example, right? And should have is to give an opinion. For example, Bayern and and. and Bayern and, and, and Barça, the A2. Ni, ni opinión hay que dar, ni sugerencias, because it was so terrible. <laughs> yeah, it was, everything was bad, so. Um, the day that never happened. But, but I think it was delivered for the, for the players. Yes, because there's no excuse, because no todos los delanteros played. Christmas, yes. Fat, uh, Vidal, Suarez, Messi. There's no yes. excuse. They should have pretended to have a COVID or something. <laughs> I think I think they they're looking for an excuse for 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 make all all this stuff that happened. Um, yes, out, out the, out the team, and try to get another team for, for money. I, I don't know. Yes. Do you know? For example, right now, um, Mauricio Funes is in trouble. Correct. The international, oh, yes. the international police, national. Everybody's looking for him because um, they he. He's in trouble. But the Mauricio Funes' biggest problem is that he talks too much. So yes. Yes. he he should have he's a, a bit bocon. <laughs> yeah. He should have stayed quiet and disappear. Do you understand? He should have mm -hmm. stayed quiet and disappear. Go to Finland or something with all the millions and disappear. <laughs> but no, nah, they make big mm -hmm. mansions. Um, do you understand that part? He should have? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, do you have any questions? No, no. Salvador, do you have any questions? No. no. <laughs> All right, then. Um, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Thank you. Okay. I, I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow. It's Wednesday. Have a great day, class. Okay. Have Thank a great, you. Have a, have have a great, great rest of the day because we only have three more hours. <laughs> yeah. Good night, teacher. Good Thank night. you. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.